I have with me Sam Neal. She is a business manager for health, arts and events in East Lindsay. Very much involved with the So Festival. Yeah. And you've been speaking for a good half hour. I have, um, yes. Tell me a little bit about the So Festival. Okay, this, this is four days of activity in July this year. We have a whole range of things taking place, things people can get involved in, come and watch, see and do. Performances in the Embassy Theatre, performances in the street, lots of street theatre, and some very big performances happening quite late at night, but international performers coming into Skegness, carnivals you say, you and parades. You international flavour, but yep. you also mentioned the focus that you want to promote local talent. Absolutely, yes. We're, we're really pleased to be working with BBC Radio Lincolnshire, who are bringing um, their BBC Introducing show, which will broadcast live, and they'll have four of Lincolnshire's best unsigned bands broadcasting live as a sort of Battle of the Bands type of event on the Friday night which is fantastic you know real homegrown talent but on a, a big stage the logistics that you describe quite frankly scary in the <laughs> absolutely but, but of course the, the upheaval and that's going to act like a counter to that yeah. is you're going to bring massive boost to the economy we hope so yeah one of our challenges this year is is how do you prove that um, we've had a young lad on work experience this week and asked him to say on a typical day out to Skegness what would he spend and he came up with a figure of around about 10 pounds a lot of the events are free so that 10 pounds that he's spending is going straight into the local businesses we have to prove that um, and that's really really important it's also about the cultural experience though and that sort of spine tingling you know I was there it was fantastic because those are the experiences that change people's lives and are actually quite hard to evaluate I was quite shocked about the scale of the event yeah is it just growing and growing it, it is I mean we're working pretty much on the same budget as we had last year for two days and now doing four days I think what's growing is that people are wanting to get on board with it so we've got people contacting us now and saying you know we, we've had a, a young photographer who's come forward and said I'd really like to get involved in this so it does grow because what we're looking to do is to try and um, spread the appeal to the widest number of people and make Make sure that everybody gets something from it, gets something out of it. So, eight weeks to go. Eight weeks e to go. Everything under control. Yeah, I think it is. The, the big unknown is always going to be the weather. Um, we are looking at the fact that some things will be able to happen indoors if they can't happen outdoors. Actually, some of the things, the weather won't make a difference. If it rains, we will still be out on the street watching this amazing carnival. But yeah, everything's coming together. The businesses are working with us. The, the PR campaign is now gearing up banners and t-shirts are all at the printers ready to, to go so uh, yeah really exciting time